Hello, it's Timothy with Scrappy Boy Stamps, and today I am going to um, show you how to put together the hiking boot shaped card mini album. Um, so it's a die. You could use it to make a mini album. Um, you could also use it to uh, make just like a focal point for your card, and you could also make a card. So um, I'm going to show you how to put it together and then give you a couple of different options um, for different ways that you could use the dies. All right, so the main die, this one here, has some stitching around it. So that will be your base for whatever project you're going to do. So you want to run that through your die cut machine. Like I said, it's the one that has the stitching on it. So go ahead and run that through. Um, if you are going to make an album, I would suggest uh, running, using like a heavyweight cardstock or just layering two pieces of cardstock together just so your uh, cover has some, so it's it makes it more sturdy. Okay, so there's that piece that you would r run through. Um, for my, boots and you could do it however you want um, but I like to do um, the bottom portion of the boot the front and the back all in the same color so that's what this little piece is for the toe this piece for the heel and this piece for the bottom so let's get those and I like to use different colors just to add interest to the boot um, this piece is one of the layering pieces so this will be your first layer on your base um, and that is this one here so this one doesn't have any stitching it's just a clean cut die and then this one here is where your laces are. So that would be the top layer of your, your boot. So let's go ahead and put this together and then I will show you or give you some ideas of other ways to use this, this die. Um, so let's see, let's go ahead and Let's actually do this bottom piece first. So I'm just going to get some liquid adhesive. And I like to use a liquid just because it gives you a little bit of wiggle room so you can kind of place your, your piece where you want it and then wiggle it just a little bit if you don't have it exactly where you want it. So just like that, just kind of eyeball it and make sure you have like the same uh, border around. The stitching is perfect to help out with that. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and add this first layer. If you notice in the boot, there's a nice little notch here, and that kind of helps you with placement as well. We'll add this piece. And that's going to go directly on top of that previous piece. So you'll line that all the way up on the left-hand side. The same with this piece, you'll line that directly on top. And like I said, you can use whatever colors you want. Um, I'm gonna show you, I did a, well, I prepped to make a pink boot. So if you have 
someone in your your life who loves pink, they can have a pink hiking boot instead of a brown one. And this little piece will go in front. And that lines directly on top of that tan piece there. So there is the boot completed. So if you just wanted to throw this on a card, then you're all set to go. Um, there are some holes here, like I said, so if you wanted to add some some twine or thread or whatever to give shoelaces, then you could do that. Um, let's see. So if you wanted to make this into an album, you would cut out, I just did four just to show. Actually, okay, so I cut out two of the the stitched outline in heavyweight cardstock. So that would be for the front and the back of the album. So I'm just going to go ahead and glue that to the back of what we just did. I did that wrong. So <laughs> I'm going to glue the back of this to the front of this just to kind of make it more sturdy. Whenever I do 3D projects or projects that are gonna be handled a lot, I definitely wanna make sure it's sturdy and not flimsy. All right, so that would be our cover for the album. And I just went ahead and did four. So I ran the same die four times out of uh, craft cardstock. And then I went through with, let's see, the layering piece. So it's the piece that looks just like the outline, but it doesn't have the stitching. And you can always tell by the size. So the... The one with stitching, of course, is bigger. And then the one without the stitching will nest right inside of it. So I went ahead and got some, well, on this one, pattern paper, just because you can use pattern paper or you can use um, solid pieces of paper. But I grabbed a piece of paper from the Pirates paper pack just to kind of give you an idea of what that would look like. I wanted to kind of use masculine uh, papers and colors for this one. But like I said, if you're making it for someone, you can make it however you think they would like it. So that would be page one. Can go ahead and glue these down real quick. Just kind of giving you different options of what, um, what colors you can use. Did kind of like naturals, neutrals, nature tones, nature colors. So just line these up. Moving through in a black layer. Now I'm getting some military vibes like an army boot but I feel like whatever you put on here would pop even if you wanted to just write something like with a white gel pen that would look really cool on the black card stock and then a green just for like trees and plants and all that good stuff Okay. All right, so that would be the back. If you did want to do another piece in um, the craft, you could do that and stick it on the back part for the uh, album. But for now, we're just going to put this together real quick. So I have a hole punch, so I'm just going to find on my uh, cover, 
where I want the first hole to be, punch that, then I'll line it up, grab a pen or pencil, let's do a little X, on each of these so you know where to punch. I suppose you could do a circle, maybe it doesn't matter. <laughs> Maybe on that one, I'll do a circle so I can see it. Another little X there. And another X here. I'm just going to go ahead and punch holes for the ring to put our album together. Uh, if you want, you could add two rings, maybe one on this side or one at the bottom if you want. But I feel like with just one, it's kind of fun. All right, so there's the back, front, uh, we'll do... And the black, we'll do the wood grain and the green. Put those together. And I have a little ring here. And there's your little album. Ooh, that reminds me of like a swatch too. So there's that. All right, and so like I said, I did go through and find some pinks. So if you want to make a different color boot, like I said, it doesn't have to be, it could be all patterns, it could be all solids, you can mix and match. And so um, just figure out what you want to be your, kind of like your main pieces. And then, like I said, for me, I like the, front, the back, and the bottom, just to be kind of darker than the rest of it. So let's go ahead and put this together real quick. It's going to be the same way. Um, but instead of gluing that piece down first, we'll go ahead and glue this piece on top. And this is from the Make an Impression paper pack these two color or these two papers that I'm using right now and then always go through your your stash and see what you have that you could use I'm gonna go ahead and get this heel and all these pieces layer right on top of each other so just kind of place it get it situated press down Go ahead and do the front part. I love all these little stitching areas in the dies. It adds a ton of interest to it. So that lines up directly up front. And we'll glue this piece first. right on the bottom. I'm not sure if you can tell on camera, but this paper has a little bit of shimmer to it. So I think that's perfect for the glamper in your life. <laughs> Is that what they call it? Glamping? Glamour camping? All right. So that piece is there. And we'll go ahead and glue this piece down. So like I said, you can use this once you put it together like this. If you just wanted to throw this on a card front, you could do that just as like a focal point. But um, I'm going to show you how I made this into a card front. 
So you're gonna get a piece of paper that's six by nine. So six inches wide by nine inches tall and score at four and a half. So you'll have a card like this. You're gonna get your, your stitched die not that one so you're gonna get your stitch die and you're gonna run this through your die cut machine so you're gonna line it up but you want so your fold is up here so you want to line this up but you don't want to cut out the entire thing you want to leave a little bit of space up here and maybe well yeah I always run mine through I put some tape down and then run that through my die cut machine so once you do that you'll end up with a piece like this so it's pretty much the same except it doesn't show or doesn't have that part um, cut off or cut out and so you do have a card that you can open like that and let's go ahead and glue this down Okay, so there is our boot card, and that'll stand up nice for you on your desk or mantle or wherever you want to display that. Um, what else was there? So if you decide you want your, like if you wanted your whole card base to be like pink to go with the same theme, then you could use that die without the stitching and use that as an insert. So that could go inside there so you would have somewhere to write uh, on a lighter cardstock. So there are a few options for you with the boot, the hiking boot shaped card mini album die. I hope uh, that was a little bit helpful for you. If you have any questions, you can reach out to me or anyone on the design team and we can help you out. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a good one.